Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a Microsoft Zero Day and Google drama. Now, before I start, you might notice I'm not in my typical location, and you might have noticed I might miss some videos this week. That's because I'm traveling, speaking at security events during the week. Nonetheless, let's jump into today's story. Today, Google security research teams released a blog post talking about a Zero Day flaw in Microsoft Windows 10. Now, this flaw is a local uh, privilege escalation flaw that allows malicious code to bypass Windows' sandbox and get more control of your system. Now, Google researchers didn't actually discover this flaw themselves. Rather, they saw real attackers already exploiting this flaw in the wild. And by the way, they're also exploiting this flaw with what was a zero-day flash vulnerability in drive-by download attacks. Basically, if you're visiting a website with Windows 10 with your, your Microsoft browser, they'll first leverage a flash vulnerability to gain some control of your your system and they'll leverage the sandbox escape to gain full control of your system. So it's a pretty big deal that bad guys are leveraging and drive by download attacks. Now on October 21st, over a week ago, Google did let both Microsoft and Adobe know about this vulnerability before they actually released this blog post. In fact, I believe around October 25th or 26th, Adobe released an emergency flash update that actually fixes the flash vulnerability. So if you're a flash user, go get that patch. However, my Microsoft has not had time to patch it yet, and today uh, Google released details about this vulnerability. Now, in the past, I've kind of criticized Google researchers for irresponsibly disclosing zero-day vulnerabilities without letting vendors know. In the past, one particular researcher, Tavis Ormandy, actually found new zero-day vulnerabilities himself, and he actually would disclose those vulnerabilities publicly without actually letting Microsoft know or giving them time to patch. I personally believe this is very irresponsible. It puts Microsoft's customers at risk because he's teaching attackers about a new vulnerability they don't know about and not letting the vendor patch it. However, this case is kind of different. Google researchers did not discover this flaw themselves. They actually see attackers already exploiting it. That means to some extent this vulnerability or exploit is already public. So anyways, Microsoft, as you might guess, reacted badly to Google's pre-disclosure. They actually complained Google's not giving them enough time to patch. But this is kind of a different case because the attackers know about it. In fact, Google, one of the reasons they disclosed this seems to be because they have a workaround. Specifically, if you use the Chrome browser, it's capable of basically recognizing when a site is trying to leverage this sandbox uh, violation. So using Chrome can prevent this actual wild attack. Now there's some politics here obviously. Microsoft wants people to use the IE browser and Edge, but in the meantime until Microsoft patches, using Chrome is one workaround to avoid this wild attack until Microsoft fixes. So anyways, let's get to practical tips. If you're a Windows user and you use Flash, you definitely want to update Adobe Flash to fix one part of this flaw. Now Microsoft hasn't released a patch for the sandbox uh, escape, so there's nothing you can do there yet. Obviously you want to patch when that comes out. However, Chrome might be a viable workaround. If you don't already use Chrome, maybe you can temporarily use Chrome until Microsoft comes out with the patch. Anyways, very interesting security industry drama. I do think that in past disclosures, Google has kind of been irresponsible when they do release information about a brand new zero-day flaw that they find without letting vendors know. But in this case, the fact that attackers are already exploiting it changes the situation a little bit. Really, the cat's already out of the bag. The bad guys are exploiting this flaw, so you might as well give administrators enough information so that they can mitigate it until they have a better solution. Anyways, fascinating story. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. 